good afternoon and welcome to my youtube channel on data analysis and then research so today we want to look at how to represent os ratio or adjusted os ratio and the 95 confidence interval on using forest plot so this is a forest plot usually forest plots are employed in meta analysis when primary data are consolidated to see whether there's a significant difference between two groups. But I can also use it to represent effect size. So effect sizes like OS ratio, a standardized mean difference, a regression coefficients, and then coloration coefficients. So we are going to demonstrate this in using graph part present. So this is the data of our adjusted OS ratio and then the confidence interval. So usually you can represent the data this way. So normally this is your adjusted OS ratio. This is the lower limit of the 95% confidence interval and this is the upper limit. You can also represent it this way. So you write the OS ratio then within the brackets you have the confidence interval, the lower limit and the upper limit. But for the purposes of this work, we will represent, you normally represent it this way. So you'll bring the lower limit first, followed by the OS ratio, and then the upper limit is last. So that is how you represent this data before you can uh, plot it in a forest plot. So we'll go to our uh, graph part present so open a new sheet so we have a new sheet so usually we use a column format so you click you create then we'll paste our data so we paste our data here so that is our data and then you come to the graph the graph part present will automatically create a graph for you but you click on it but this is not how we want it. So we have to format this to get what we want. So there are different styles here. So this is how this one looks. We have that one. This way. So but this is the format that will be suitable for to make a forest plot. And then here, the best uh, format or style that normally is the similar to OS ratio and confidence about is the median with range. If you select any other form, it might affect the display of the data. So usually take the median and the range. So median and range, then we select OK. So this is how it will look first, but this is not the best of form. This is not how we want it. So we have to format this in further. So first we'll put our title here, adjusters, adjusted OS ratio, 95% CR. Then you can also put a heading. We compared the potency pregnancy as a reference against preeclampsia. So we put this one here. But we need to still do further formatting. So I'll double click on the axis. So in order to make the graph bigger, we want it to be wide, not tall. So we'll select wide. They also want to offset the Y from the X axis. So click OK. So this side up here. But you can see that the symbols are not uniform. We have square, circle, diamond. So we want a uniform symbol to represent the adjusted OS ratio. So to make the effect at once, so you have to select global. If you don't select global, it will, you have to do it manually for each of them. So if you select global, it will affect the change automatically for all. So we want the circular type, uh, the size, let's use 4, size 4, then we'll click apply, OK. So you see that now everything is circular. But I can see that the confidence intervals for three of these variables are not shown. It's just squeeze, only the circle is shown. So we need to adjust the y, the x axis. So 
so that that was spread out so that we can see the confidence interval clearly so the current form is the linear but there are other forms that you can use we have the log 10 log 2 and then probabilities and all so let's try the log 10 this will not affect the values or their distribution so you can see that log 10 I uh, have enabled the confidence about to appear, but still they are not so clear. So we can try block two and see how clearly it appears. So let's select lock two and then okay. So you can see lock two is better than the linear and lock ten. Now you can see the adjusted oscillation in the confidence about clearly. So now how do we insert the broken line at one? So this you go to the x axis double click the x axis so here at x axis we want to display one we want a line through it then the details of the line we have to go and format so we want this type of line we select it from here the size of the line we select a two point then we we'll click OK so you can see the broken line has been inserted. You can insert a line on any of this, but for us ratio, it is shown that if the net to five confidence interval includes one, then it means that the difference between the two groups is not significant. Because if you divide PE by 10P and you get one, that means there's no difference, they are equal. So that is the meaning of the one. So if is less than one I mean the reference value is higher than the comparative value it is more than one it means the one you are comparing to the reference is higher but if it's one it means there is no difference between the two most likely so this is how it is done you can adjust you can increase the font sizes if you want currently this is 11 you can make it 14 this is 14, this 14, but you can also make the numbers here 14 so that everything will be uniform. All right, so that is it. So this is how you create a forest plot. If you want to represent your data in a graphical form, that is how it is. So the interpretation from what I've said, it means that lymphocyte interleukin-4 and protein B71 are not significantly different between the normal pregnancy and then PE. However, monocytes and then TNF alpha are more likely to be higher in women with preeclampsia than women with normal pregnancy. So you can see that they are lying to the far right and not touching the line. Means that your the group you are comparing to the reference, which is PE, the values there for monocyte count and then TN alpha are more likely to be higher in PE than in the reference group. So that is how uh, this is interpreted. So thank you very much for watching and then look forward to my next video on data analysis and then research. Please subscribe, share and recommend your colleagues so that anytime I upload a, new, upload a new video they can receive an alert. See you next time.